Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello, my dear participants. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Hi. And you? Hi. It's a privilege to have you here. Uh, my name is Patricia. Patricia. Patricia de Moran. So it's a pleasure to have you here. Hello for the people that I already know from other courses, previous courses, but hello to the new participants too. I'm glad to be here. Hello, Gabriel. Hello, Julie. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Katia, Noé, and Arnold. I don't Hi, know. Hi, teacher. Good night. Hello. Good, to Good evening. Nice to meet you. Good evening. Okay. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. Great. Okay, my dears. Um, so today we are going to start the class. I want to share with you uh, the platform. As you know, the platform is um, the, the main tool we have, okay? So what I basically want to do is to show you uh, exactly the starting point we are going to be working with. So let's see if I can share. Okay, let's see. Hello, Crisia. Good to have you here. Okay, let's see if I can Hello, show teacher. That. Okay, hello. Let me see if I have the platform ready. But basically, uh, in the platform, the activities we have today is the starting point that uh, we are going to um, start with section number one, okay? So section number one talks about, and I will share better my presentation. Okay, let's see my presentation. It's better. Okay, how have you been? Como han estado? My day, my day was great. Today was great. Okay, I hope you have a successful week. Okay, basically, okay, I want to share my presentation and then I'm going to share the platform. That's the way I will do. Okay, in the platform, you have as main objective to learn about adverbs and adjectives, okay? How to use an adverb before an adjective. Oh. That's what we are going to do today. So what I want you to do is to tell me what do you remember about what an adjective is. ¿Qué recuerdan de lo que es un adjetivo, un adverb? Um, un adjetivo es eh, como un como alguien que califica al, al sujeto. Ok. Ok. Realmente da, da características acerca del, del sujeto. Very good. That's an adjective, right? Okay. And what about an adverb? Thank you, Noé. What about an adverb? What an adverb is? La de tiempo, del ah, lugar, we have de modo. Adverbs of place, time. Very good. Okay, so the lesson objective, I will share the platform. Finally, I have it here. Let me stop sharing my presentation. And I want to, to share with you the platform for you to see what I'm talking about. In the platform, it says 1.0 lesson objective. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a city where adverbs before adjectives are used. Okay? Eh, aquí vamos a trabajar eh, viendo cómo utilizamos adverbios antes de los adjetivos. So, can you see my screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes. Okay, yes, good. I can see. Okay, so it's, yes, a, I can. it's a very exciting place. And then you have a video. I won't play the video because you will have better sound in your own computer. But it says, in this class, participants will learn the usage of adverbs before adjectives. And then it continues with another video. So what's precisely we are going to do now? 
I'm going to provide you extra material about this topic, but remember that what is important to do is that you can go to the platform and that you can listen all the videos and watch and then that you can repeat. And finally, that you can complete all the activities that are supposed um, to be there. So I'm going to share again my presentation. And in here you have uh, the definition of adverbs, okay? So it says, uh, an adverb describes a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. It tells us how, where, when, how much, and with what frequency. An adverb can tell how frequently, how peacefully, how carefully, how slowly, how, how badly, how closely, how easily, how well, okay? It can say also fast. how fast, how quickly, how cheerfully. And also another can tell us where. Where, when we say where, we can say above, abroad, far, away, back, here, outside, backwards, behind, below, down. Also another can tell us when. Now, yesterday, soon, later, tomorrow, yet, already, tonight, today, then, last year. And how much? Quite, fairly, too, enormously, entirely, very, extremely, rather, almost, absolutely, just. And also another can tell us how often, always, sometimes, often, frequently, normally, generally, usually, occasionally, seldom, rarely, or never. So that's an adverb, okay? After being said that, <clears throat> I want to share with you where is the position of an adverb. <clears throat> you can have an adverb, sorry, <clears throat> you can have an adverb in front position. It means at the beginning of the sentence. For example, in the frequency adverbs, I can say, sometimes I see him at the supermarket. Uh, suddenly, the eagle opened its wings. Tomorrow, I'm going to Dublin, if I'm talking about that adverb of place. Or I can say, if I, if I talk of a certainty adverb, I can say, perhaps he's not coming uh, in end. But also, I can have uh, adverbs in uh, mid position. For example, I can say, he always has sandwiches for his lunch. If it's an adverb of manner, I can say, he slowly backed his car into the garage. If it's an adverb of time, I say, we already eaten dinner. If it's an adverb of certainty, I say, we, we're obviously going to need more help. If I have an adverb of degree, I can say, I can hardly believe you said that. And also we can have adverbs in the end position. The adverbs of frequency, for example, we can say, he visits me occasionally. In the adverb of manner, I can say, the horse whisked its tail angrily. Adverbs of time, journalists will be able to preview the exhibition tomorrow. Adverbs of place, bring the boxes here. So that's the place. So we say that adverbs can be in, at the beginning of the sentence or in front position, in the mid position or at the end position of the sentence. But how, you can say, but teacher, how do we form adverbs? Okay, there you have. <laughs> we can have adjectives. And from those adjectives, we can have adverbs. For example, I can change the adjective beautiful, I mean the adjective beautiful, which is hermoso, bello, <coughs> sorry, for an adverb that says beautifully. You can change the adjective slow for the adverb slowly. Adjective bad for badly. Adjective happy for happily. 
And note that in these cases we add L-Y. L-Y. L-Y, ¿verdad? Slow, slowly. Bad, badly. Beautiful, beautifully. But if you have an, an adjective that ends in Y, like happy, you say happily. Of it's like noisy, you say noisily. Or if it's easy, you say easily, okay? So you change the Y by I and then you add L-Y, okay? Uh, so is it clear the way we can do adjectives, uh, we can convert adjectives from adverbs? Sí? Está claro cómo convertimos adjetivos de adverbios? Eh, ¿Cómo convertimos adjetivos a adverbios? Y también la, oh, yes. pos la posición, ¿verdad? Ya vimos que pueden ir al inicio, al medio o al final. Ok, here I have some exercises for you. Ok, it says, circle the verb, circle the verb that, eh, in, in the adverb, sorry, in each sentence below. On the line in front of the sentence, tell whether the adverb answers how, when, or when. So I will need some volunteers. We have 10 sentences. So you have to say, which is the adverb? And uh, what tell us if how, when, or where? Okay, I will do number one. Voy a hacer la número uno para animarlos a participar. He said, Scott carefully finished his homework. En esa oración, el adverbio es cuidadosamente, carefully. Y nos responde a la pregunta, how? How Scott finished his homework? Carefully. Okay? Okay. When we're going to the store today? Okay. Uh, what's the advert in that case, my dear? Uh, Where the energy don't Going. Going. You say going. Um, let's see. I had Julie and I have... Let's see. Who was who was saying? Who told me the first sentence? Let me see. No air, right? No, no teacher. Oh my God. Escuché a alguien que me dijo la primera oración, pero no levantó la manita. Entonces no sé quién fue. Me, Gabriel. Oh, Gabriel. Hello. Thank you, Gabriel. Okay, in the, in the number two, it says, we are going to the store today. So in this case, uh, it's, a, it's an adverb of time. And the adverb in this sentence is today, okay? Uh, today yes. is. Today, yes, because it answers the question when. When uh, we're going, are we going to the store? Today. When, okay. okay. Very good. Uh, Julie, Julie, you told us, Energetic, <coughs> energetic, yes. right? In where? Run away. The energetic door run, run away. So for you, what is the adverb in that sentence? Where? Where the energetic, energetic door run away. Okay, so for you, the, the, adverb, the, um, the adverb is away. Okay. Okay. Where the energetic don't run? Away. What okay. is the meaning, teacher? Eh, lo, eh, el, el energético perro corrió lejos. Entonces, es un eh, adverb of place that certainly answers the word of, uh, where. And the answer is yeah. away. Can you listen to me? Yes. Hello. Hi. Hi. Cause... Hello. The sentence number four is how, how the noisy helicopter was flying high in the sky. Okay, very good. I think so. Yeah, so what is the... the um, noisy. 
the the adverb there uh, noisy yeah the noisy yeah the noisy <clears throat> helicopter was flying high in the sky <clears throat> okay very good uh number five me katia okay katia tell us the young girl and her partner dance dance gracefully okay so what's her. the the adverb in that sentence gracefully gracefully right gracefully gracefully yeah and it answers the question how the young girl how? was dancing okay very good how thank you how okay volunteer for number six Uh, me teacher okay. we we often eat dinner with our friend i think often often right it's a frequency advert oh. tell us of, when oh. when tell, when yeah when okay very okay. good uh, i need another volunteer for number seven guys so i would like that you can try no matter if you are not sure we can me correct okay katie tell us Okay, um, how he cleaned the carpet inside the house? Okay, where, where right? Oh, where? Where, yeah. So, Why? in this case, the frequency answer is? Inside. 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 Inside, okay, very good, inside. So, it tells us where, inside the house. Okay, number eight. Uh, is my cousin is never afraid okay. uh, Albert is never very good yeah it's an advert of time when never very good let me move this okay number nine uh, me teacher okay Noe tell us they recently moved into our into our neighborhood okay uh, recently is the adverb okay very good and the last one number 10. that's easy so who would like to tell the answer me teacher okay okay elizabeth tell us my mom What's and dad one? are happily married us oh, okay um what's the adverb in that case how where how? But what's the, the, the adverb? The word. Happily. Happily, right? Okay, thank you. Elizabeth, tell us. Via Elizabeth con su manita levantada. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, yeah, but someone else did it. Yeah, so. sorry. <laughs> That's okay. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. We will continue practicing. So we'll, you will have the chance to participate. Thank you very much. <laughs> So that's the way uh, we can find the adverbs in a sentence, okay? So I'm very interested that you can recognize an adverb uh, because then we are going to have the mix of an adverb with an adjective, okay? So now that we know what an adverb is, uh, I would like that Elizabeth can tell us or can read, can read for us what an adjective is and tell the example. Could you please, Elizabeth? Of course. So, what it is an adjective? Mm -hmm. Adjective is a word which describes or gives more information about a noun or pronoun. Examples: beautiful, big, a beautiful flower or big house. Okay. In the first case, which is the adjective? Uh, the adjective is beautiful. Okay. And in the second case, big very good thank you so now we know what it's an adverb and what it modifies and now we, we are learning what it's an adjective and what it modifies <clears throat> in here sorry i have two sentences uh, for example she is quick that's an adjective and i'm qualifying her or she as a quick person okay but in the second sentence it says she walks away quickly so quickly is an adverb that says the way she walks away how she walks away she walks quickly so that's the difference uh, that the adjective uh, describes a person 
okay? But the adverb explain the verb, the way she walks away, okay? Estamos claros, ¿verdad? El adjetivo lo que hace es que describe a una cosa o persona. Ella es rápida, ¿verdad? Entonces el adjetivo la está describiendo a ella como rápida. Pero si yo digo, ella eh, se fue lejos rápidamente, quickly, entonces yo en el, con el adverbio lo que estoy diciendo es la manera como ella caminó lejos. Entonces ahí el, el adverbio me sirve para modificar el verbo, ¿verdad? Ok, so, <coughs> I, have he, I have here more information and it says, an adjective gives more information about a noun or pronoun by answering one of these questions. What kind? Which one? How many? So, I want you to please help me to repeat these words. Blue car. Car. Could you car. repeat with me, please? Blue car. Okay, your mic. Blue car. <clears throat> okay. Blue car. Blue car. Blue car. car. Long road. Long, Long road. road. Tall person. Tall, Tall person. person. Big house. Big, Big house. house. Which one? Which, Which one? one? This town. This, this town. town. Last week. Last week. Last, week. Last week. The second day. The second, the second day. day. The other woman. The, the other, other woman. woman. How many? How many? How many? One second. One, One second. second. Three boys. Three boys. Three boys. boys. Two cars. Few Two cars. cars. Several, people. Several people. Several people. Very good. So remember that always an adjective answers the question what kind? Which one and how many, okay? So, let me advance here. Vamos a avanzar un poquito en la presentación. Okay. Uh, here I have another chart that tell us, <coughs> sorry, about the general order of adjectives. Uh, we can order adjectives by opinion, by size, by shape, by condition, by age, by color, by pattern, by origin, by material, by purpose, and by noun. For example, if I'm going to give a personal opinion about something, I can say that something is ugly or is beautiful. If I'm measuring the size, I can say that this is small or this is large. If I'm talking about the shape, I can say this is thin, or this is long. If I'm talking about condition, I can say dirty, broken. If I'm talking about age, I can say, I can say old or ancient. If I'm talking about color, I can say red or white. If I'm talking about pattern, I can say strip. Origin, Italian, French, Greek. Material, cotton, silk, clay. Purpose, sleeping, wedding. Flower. Now, and, and we can describe the noun. We can say Italian cotton sleeping bag, French silk wedding dress, Greek clay flower base. You see, I order the adjectives to say the noun. So here I have some words, and I would like that you can think in one uh, example using one of those ways opinion, size, shape, condition, age color, pattern, origin, material, and purpose, okay? So I will give you one minute for you to think about one sentence that, that you can do using one adjective of those, okay? Le voy a dar un minuto para que ustedes eh, vean eh, con cuál de esos adjetivos quieren hacer una oración y nos la dicen, ¿verdad? Puede ser opinion, size, shape, condition, age, color, pattern, origin, and so on, okay? Okay, I'll give you one minute. Le voy a dar un minutito para que lo piense. Oh. <coughs> 
My food was delicious. Okay, very good. The food was delicious. Okay. Slowly. Okay. I have a blue pant. Okay. Next volunteer. Mm. I don't like uh, white shoes. Okay, very good. And not Elizabeth. Okay, Elizabeth is raising hand. Me, Julie. <laughs> okay, I have Elizabeth and Julie. <laughs> Okay, um, how much plastic do you use? How much? Plastic. Okay, do okay, you very good. Use? Okay, Julie? Mm, you're a Julie. I'm <laughs> ah, sorry, <laughs> Elizabeth, now it's your turn, Elizabeth. Okay, my house is always clean. Okay, very good. Next volunteer? Someone missing? Me. Okay. Katia. Okay, Katia, go ahead. Chocolate cake is very delicious. Oh my God, that's true. Okay, any other volunteer? Gabriel, did you already participate? Yes, she's lonely. Okay, very good. Uh, Crisia, tell us. Uh, uh, I have Hi, red hair? Red, uh, red hair. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you, Tricia. Uh, Juan Carlos? Mm -hmm. I don't know if Juan Carlos can hear, can listen to us. Hello, Juan Carlos. Hello. Okay. You can hear you, me? Yeah, we can hear you perfectly. Uh, can you share with us some example using adjectives? I have a hungry. I, I am hungry in este caso, verdad? I am, porque yo estoy hambriento. Okay. I am hungry. Very good. Thank you. Nobody missing? Nadie se me quedó? I hope no. Okay. Very good. Okay. What's the Roberto? Roberto? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, tell us. Oh, I say one, but okay. Okay, okay. Uh, I have a big car. Okay, I have a big car. That's a good example. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, what I'm, uh, why I'm talking about in this class about adjectives and adverbs because the topic is about that. And in the platform, it says that we can use an adverb, for example, very, before an adjective, for example, cold, and to make the adjective stronger. <coughs> Perdón, I'm sorry. En qué momento yo uno eh, un eh, adverbio con un adjetivo? Cuando yo quiero hacer más fuerte el adjetivo. Porque si yo digo, it was cold, es como, estaba frío, ¿verdad? Pero si yo digo, it was very cold, que estoy diciendo, estaba muy frío. Entonces estoy haciendo un énfasis mucho más fuerte en la palabra cold, ¿verdad? You can say, I went to Canada eh, in December and it was very cold. Or I, or I went to New York in last January and it was very cold. So you make the emphasis <coughs> on the word. So here I'm have, really hungry. Yeah, I'm really hungry. Yeah, you're making emphasis that you're very hungry. Okay, very good. Uh, here I have another example. Uh, it says, I'm terribly sorry to bother you. Me siento, terrible, me siento terriblemente mal, ¿verdad? O me disculpo por molestarte. I'm terribly sorry to bother you. She's well aware of the problem. Ella está muy consciente del problema. It's vitally important to learn new vocabulary. Es vitalmente importante aprender nuevo vocabulario. And that's true. In English, that's true. If you want to learn that language. He's fast asleep. Como él se duerme rápidamente. 
She's wide right awake. Excuse me? Okay. And then the last one, they were brutally murdered. Ellos fueron brutalmente asesinados. So sad. Okay. I don't like that sentence, but I just wrote it in order for you to, to see some examples. So what we are going to do now is to go to do an exercise and then to, um, for example, this, utterly, utterly. You can use the word utterly that I will give you uh, several definitions, but we can say utterly ridiculous, utterly furious, um, and utterly has the meaning, for example, let's see, utterly in Spanish, for, in order to give you the proper and different meaning, meanings. Absolutamente. Absolutamente, exactamente. Absolutamente. Utterly. And you say, utterly, my boss was utterly furious. Mi jefe estaba absolutamente furioso. Uh, he's utterly furious and he wants to get and he wants to get even utterly ridiculous it is utterly ridiculous to and totally absurd when we talk about something that it doesn't make sense the detention of children is utterly wrong um, he is not just antisocial he's utterly alone okay utterly amazed i'm utterly amazed as a base as a as a baseball coach he said utterly appealed i'm utterly appealed but it doesn't surprise me she always looks utterly beautiful he was utterly fantastic okay so that's in this case utterly wants to make emphasis in the the adverb utterly el adverbio utterly porque si ustedes ven es un adverbio verdad Lo hemos conformado en la palabra outer y agregándole ly, ¿verdad? Entonces lo hemos unido con diferentes adjetivos. Ridiculous, furious, fantastic, beautiful, appeal, amazed, alone, and wrong. Okay, so this, this is an example, a very clear example on how we can join or unite or put together um, an adverb before an adjective and then to make more emphasis or become that adjective stronger okay so i have here another example uh, and let me tell you that this is called also collocation these collocations use adverbs to make the adjective stronger si ustedes me preguntan teacher pero cómo se llama eso de poner juntos el, eh, gramaticalmente verdad El adverbio con el adjetivo, bueno, tiene un nombre, ¿verdad? Se llama collocations. Y es el adverb plus the adjective. ¿Ok? And here it says, eh, these collocations use adverbs to make the adjective stronger. Ridiculous, ridiculously easy. This test is ridiculously easy. It didn't even, I didn't even study, but I will get a high score. Utterly ridiculous. That's utterly ridiculous. Ben didn't steal your favorite pen from work yesterday. He wasn't even in the office yesterday when they are, they are discussing, right? Highly success, successful. Janet is a highly successful businesswoman. She owns several restaurants and hotels around the county. Okay, let's see the other one. Deeply concerned. Are you okay? I am deeply concerned about you. You have been depressed since you lost your job. Strongly opposed. Roger is strongly opposed to anything bad for his health. He doesn't eat, eat junk food and he, does, and he doesn't drink or smoke. Okay, so those are other exercises and other examples on how to use a collocation which is the union of an adverb plus an adjective in a sentence in order to give more emphasis okay 
So let me see. Yeah. Okay, I have here something for you. I have here this image and I want you to please try to build your own sentence. Quiero que utilizando estas expresiones, extremely hot, very hot, rather hot, fairly hot, fairly cold, rather cold, very cold, extremely cold, or freezing, even freezing, um, well, freezing maybe not, or maybe not boiling, but extremely, very, rather, fairly, Every or I mean very, you can make a sentence. I will give you one minute to think about a sentence using those. Le voy a dar un minutito para que piensen en una oración utilizando la imagen que les acabo de poner ahí. Es un termómetro, verdad? Cuando está en 100 eh, centigrade, it's boiling, but with with it zero, it's freezing. Okay. It's nice, tremendously cold. Okay. Thank you. Other example? The weather is very cold. The what? The weather. The weather. The weather. Yeah, the weather is very cold. Okay, very yeah. good. Okay. Who would Today like is frizzling. Excuse me? Today is frizzling. Okay, the day is freezing. Okay, let me see who, who raised her hand or his hand. Let's see. Um, ¿Quién tiene su in... mano? Que no les puedo ver. Okay, uh, Crisia. Um, the coffee is extremely hot. Okay, very good, Crisia. Thank you, Elizabeth. On summer, the days are very hot. Okay, very good. Someone else? Thank you, ladies. And the, the weather in Canada, it's very cold in, in this season. Okay, that's true. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Any other volunteer? <laughs> Okay. No. Okay. So let's continue. Very good. Thank you. I I appreciate your effort of trying to think about a sentence. Let me see. Okay. I have here this list. I would like that you can take a picture. I will try to do it and send it. Voy a tratar de enviarles una imagen porque quiero que tengan la primera imagen que nos va a servir para, sí, para contestar el ejercicio. So let me try. Okay, I will send you this and then we will try to solve the exercise. Okay, uh, please confirm if you receive the, the picture. Did you? Yes, I can see. Okay, very good. So we have, if you see, we have the list one, which is an, an adverb. And then we have the list two, which is uh, an adjective, okay? En la lista número uno, tenemos los adverbios. ¿Cómo identifico yo, teacher, que es un adverbio? Bueno, ya vimos que tiene la conformación, ¿verdad? El ly. Y muchas veces cuando el, el adjetivo termina en L, como entusiástico, se duplica la double L, ¿verdad? Y el Y. Entonces, de ahí de entrada sabemos que eso es un adverb. Y tenemos list two, which is which are adjectives, okay? Associated with, balanced, chosen, mistaken, overcrowded, qualified, received, situated. And in this one, we have delicately, closely, enthusiastically, highly, carefully, ideally, badly, and dangerously. So what I want you to do is to read this, and I will need that every one of you will take one pair of those words that are in the, uh, on the image I already sent 
to the WhatsApp group and that you can combine and that you can complete the sentence. For example, it says, now complete each of these sentences with one of the expressions from the list above. The election <laughs> is very, and then you have the space. The election is very at the moment. Um, either party could win. Uh, the new product of Hamlet was, the new production of Hamlet was by the first night audience. She's too for the job. We don't want someone with a degree. The house is space, 10 minutes from the sea and 10 minutes to the mountains. If you think I'm going to agree to that, your space. The disco was already space when the fire started. His words were space to ensure they appeal to different sections of the audience. The president has been space with the idea from the start. So he's very anxious that it's a success. So let's think about, I'll give you a, a couple of minutes to think about the possible combination and I would like that you can come back to me and tell me, teacher number one is this, number two is this, number three, and so on, okay? ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Tenemos a Elizabeth con la mano levantada, creo que ya logró encontrar una. Maybe, teacher, okay. the, election, the election is very closely at the moment. Either party could win. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Closely, y at the moment, ¿dónde estaba? Ah, pero es que son dos palabras, Elizabeth. Eh, tiene que a closely unir una de la otra línea. Oh, I got it. Ya. Yeah. Porque estamos uniendo un árbol con un árbol. Solo busque cuál palabra agregaría a closely. Maybe balancing. Yeah, closely balanced. Está eh, es bien cercano el balance, ¿verdad? Cercanamente balanceado at the moment. Either party or either party could win. Okay, thank you. Uh, Crisia, you have raised your hand. Hello. Hey, me teacher. Hello. Okay, let, let's uh, let's let let, let them uh, Christian participate. Let let Christian participate and then uh, Noé. Okay. Teacher, uh, pueden mandar de nuevo la imagen. Yes, of course. Okay, I'm sending. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, there it is. Ahí la tienen de nuevo. Okay. Uh, Vamos a darle espacio entonces a Noé, para, mientras Crisia logra ver. Ok, Noé, are you ready? Ok, teacher. The new production of Hamlet was highly overcrowded uh, by the first night audience. Ok, very good. That's right. Nice combination. Ok, I don't know if Crisia is ready. Are you ready, my dear Christian? Or maybe... Okay, no sé si Christian nos escucha. Okay, ¿a uh, quién más? Elizabeth tiene la manita levantada, pero creo que ella ya había participado. Eh, ¿Quién más está listo? Number three, number four, number five, whatever you want, la que usted quiera. The new production of Hamlet was uh, enthusiastically chosen. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's another combination that can be. Okay, thank you. Uh, Crisia, tell us. Uh, the house is closely, closely for the job. We don't want someone with a degree. Okay, maybe closely situated? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, 
closely situated, right? Because it says it's 10 minutes from the sea and 10 minutes to the mountain. Okay, very good. Thank you, Tricia. Okay. Next volunteer. Teacher in number three. Mm -hmm. Who be, she's too uh, highly qualified for yeah. the job. Yeah. We don't want someone with a degree. Yeah, that's true. And that's very sad, you know. When you're looking for a job, sometimes they say that. And you say, what? I have studied a lot. And they say that I'm overqualified. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Okay. Number five. Thank you. Number four. Okay. The house is ideally situated. Okay, very good. 10 minutes from the sea and 10 minutes to the mountains. Yeah, perfect. It's another nice combination. Thank you, Katia. Okay, Gabriel. I, I say the I, number two. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Gabriel. Uh, Julie. Yes, teacher. Number five, if you think in, I'm going to agree to that, you are badly a mistake. Yeah, badly mistaking. Te estás equivocando malamente, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, Roberto. Juan Carlos, someone who wants to complete mm -hmm. number seven or eight. <clears throat> okay, let's see number seven. His words were carefully chosen to ensure they appeal to different sections of the audience. What do you think about that combination? Is it possible? Sus yeah. palabras fueron cuidadosamente escogidas, ¿verdad? Para asegurar uh -huh. que eh, apelaba a las diferentes secciones de la audiencia. ¿Ok? O que llega, ¿verdad? O que llama la atención de esa audiencia. Very good. Number eight, the president has been mm -hmm. if Maybe we can say the president has been uh, enthusiastically um, let's see enthusiastically um, let's see no maybe another one Brazil which one receive tell receive to tell. We can say the president has been carefully associated with the idea from the start. So he's very anxious that, it's, that it is a success. It could be. Okay. 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 Is it clear? Está claro entonces cómo vamos a hacer las combinaciones? Okay. Uh, I have another list. Aquí tengo otra lista. Vamos a ver si todavía nos da el tiempo para hacer unas cuantas. Aunque creo que ya no. Sí, ya no nos da el tiempo. Lo vamos a hacer otro día. Ok. Uh, I would like to ask you, uh, what do you think about the class? ¿Qué piensan acerca de la clase? ¿Verdad? Estas clases básicamente son para que ustedes practiquen, para que ustedes hablen. En esta quizás yo hablé un poco más porque el tema era un poquito denso. 
y había que explicarlo, ¿verdad? Pero eh, básicamente en las clases, eh, la metodología es de poner mucho ejercicio para que usted interactúe, para que usted hable, porque pues es el momento que tenemos para interactuar con los compañeros, ¿verdad? Con los, con los compañeros de clase, con el teacher, y para que usted pueda mejorar su speaking practice, ¿verdad? Entonces, pues lo demás está en la plataforma. Reiterar que los materiales, la prioridad es lo que está en la plataforma para completar y que estos son materiales adicionales con el objetivo de que si quedó alguna duda de la plataforma, usted la pueda aclarar. Ok, questions or comments about the class? Preguntas o comentarios acerca de la clase? Veo a Elizabeth con su manita levantada. Yes, teacher. I have a question. Yeah, tell me. So, this material you are going to share with us or yes. by email or something like that? Yes, okay. If you want to, I can send it through WhatsApp. Ah, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, maybe tonight or tomorrow uh, morning, I'll send you through WhatsApp. Thank you, teacher. Thank okay, teacher. okay. Thank you. very good. It has been a pleasure to have you here in class. I hope to... Uh, have you tomorrow, okay? I encourage you to participate because it's the, the time where you can share with others, where you can practice, okay? So mm -hmm. I wish you a good night, that you can rest and that you have a nice day tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Okay, bye-bye. Thank, 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 Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Nice to see you. Nice to see you.